Now we are all familiar with Disney's version of fairy tales, but did you know that there are also frightful fairy tales? There are. Before we listen to the frightful fairy tale, I want to tell you a few things about fairy tales that you may not know. The oldest forms of fairy tales were originally intended for adults and then for children. These early tales were passed down orally from generation to generation. Only later did they become written the written down stories that we read today. Of course, many of these stories were done by the Grimm brothers, as well as today's author Hans Christian Andersen. Their primary purposes are to amuse and to convey cultural information that influences behavior. Such as, mountains can be dangerous places to travel alone, unselfish behavior benefits the community and is rewarded, and of course, most importantly, do as your parents tell you and all will be well. The familiar themes prevalent in fairy tales are many of the same themes that we find in today's movies and stories, such as magic and skill, safe and dangerous, good and evil, weak and strong, rich and poor, wise and foolish, old and young, mean and generous, just and unjust, and friend and foe. Often the hero or heroine is searching for something, a home, a love, acceptance, wealth, wisdom, and in many tales, dreams are fulfilled with a little help from magic. Therefore, we have fairy tale endings. What's a fairy tale ending? Well, where everything turns out for the best. These are common. Heroes overcome their adversaries and girls marry the prince of their dreams. But sometimes, Many times, many fairy tales are darker and they have a sad, even tragic ending. The last thing I want to tell you about fairy tales is that the setting and details in fairy tales about when events took place, they're almost always vague, such as once upon a time, a long time ago, it happened that, and the location is also vague. Once there was a small cottage in the middle of a forest. Now while this is true of most fairy tales, I do want to tell you where today's tragic fairy tale takes place. It most likely takes place in the country of Denmark. Denmark is part of Scandinavia in the northern part of Europe. I want you to think about that, northern Europe, as far as what the little match girl would look like, and additionally, what type of weather she would be living in. And now it is time for our tragic fairy tale, The Little Match Girl by Hans Christian Andersen.